Hey guys, Digiu22 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 10 Base Run. And last time we took on Pump Man, but nonetheless though, let's move on to our next Robot Master. We are now down to Blade Man and Commando Man. And if I remember correctly, uh, Blade Man is weapon to one of the is Blade. Ah, I can't even talk. Blade Man. I do have his weakness. That's what I was trying to say. Excuse me. Now, I'll, another thing I should mention is that I have a good friend by the name of Blade Charge, which is kind of funny because I am taking on a guy called Blade Man. But there's another. But little shout out to him. Just wanted to put that out there. All right. So, and of course, a lot of the uh, enemies are based on weapons. Oh my God, I can't kill this guy. Oh, there we go. Good. Ow. Yeah. Oh, another thing I should mention is that um, base can attack with. Ooh, watch out for that! Oh yeah, if you had Commando Man's weapon, which now that I think about it, might actually be the weapon you need, which I don't have. Okay, so Rebound Striker doesn't do it. Just wanted to get these bolts. But I, I forgot to mention that uh, Proto Man. Yes, he can do a he can do charge shots, which do a lot of damage. However, oh yeah, and of course you want to keep jumping and you want to keep jumping there. Oh wow. Thankfully though, because it is easy mode, it's easier to get through here. Thankfully, it's easy to jump off there, but anyway. Oh. Yeah, you just want to shoot the eyes. That's that's the number one thing. Ow. Okay. Of course, in normal mode, it would do a lot more damage than it's actually doing. But Proto Man, even though Proto Man has most of Mega Man's moves, as well as a shield for like smaller projectile weapons that come at you that you can deflect back, uh, Proto Man takes more damage than what Mega Man does and what Base does. In fact, base is double tough, which is probably why they made him a DLC character instead of uh, uh, instead of one that comes with the game. I don't know if, uh, and you know, I'm pretty sure my good friend Moogle Fantasy, I may as well make a little uh, plug for him. 
uh, who is at the moment doing uh, a series of Let's Plays on the Mega Man series. Uh, I understand. I don't know if he's going to watch this, but I will. I do want to ask him um, if in the Legacy Collection, if base comes with the game. Like, in other words, like, we, we know that the game comes, that Mega Man 10 is part of the collection of games. We know that. But the only thing I don't know is if base comes with the game uh, playable from the start, or if you have to buy DLC for him. I, I don't know, because I know you had to buy DLC if you were getting this on the Wii. Um, I don't know about the other systems. What, you know, being if this was a standalone... I know that you had to buy them in, in this game for a standalone game, but but in the collection, I don't know if he comes with, uh, the col you know, with the game in the collection. That's what I'm trying to get at. In other words, if he's playable or not. So, sorry if I worded that weirdly, but I didn't know how to word it that much better, but, uh... Well, we got that. Not that we needed it, but it's there. And of course you have to keep jumping on this thing. Yeah, because normally you would have to time your jumps very carefully. Especially here. Oh, nice! You can you can jump there. Um, and again, I don't have the weapon. Like I don't have uh, Commando Man's weapon. That's that's what you needed uh, in order to get that weapon tank. Ow! Ooh. Oh, and of course, if you get hit and you. As far as when you do get hit by something or someone, then what happens is uh, your invincibility frames kick in, and if you fell into the spikes, you don't take, you don't die. But of course, you do want to get out of there, and if you do, or if you don't, I should say, then of course you die. But but at least it gives you a little bit of a saving grace, so to speak, which is what I was trying to get at. Okay, for this one, I hate those those things. And again, if you had Commando Man's weapon, you can use it. I'd have to imagine that if you you were doing this normally, you would just not worry so much about the enemies as much as you would worry about surviving at this point. There's the pinwheel, and thankfully I can just jump up there. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if any of these weapons would be effective, but I'll try the metal blade. If not the, the ball, we'll see. Wow. Okay, so it does do damage, but it's not the most effective. Okay. So it's probably Commando Man's weapon that would that would do it. I mean, because there were so many opportunities in which you could... Oh my god, these guy, this guy's killing me here. Gosh. Okay, now I'm gonna need to use my energy tank. Thankfully, I have that. I mean, he is a tough boss. 
you know, without the, the weakness. Actually, even with it, uh, you know, of course, getting close to him and getting it to land is another different story. And now that I remember, I believe Blade Man's weapon is uh, the weakness to uh, Strike Man. But again, Strike Man is not a tough boss to beat. Thankfully, I can shoot in seven directions, which helps. But still, Blade Man is very, very tough. But if you had the Commando, uh, but if you have Commando Man's weapon, it probably would do a lot more damage. In maybe four or three hits, I don't know. But I don't have that. But I do have the Triple Blade, which again is the weakness of Strike Man. And that's the end of Blade Man. And let me get another one of these um, energy tanks. And while we're and while we're at it, let's get a weapon tank too. While we're at it, let's get it. Okay. All right. Well, let's save. <laughs> ah, excuse me. So next time we will take on the final boss, or the last remaining robot master. Until then, Deju22 out. Stay tuned.